And I, told, I said, man, you can stay here with all these chumos. You protect them anyway. You know, that, the place was infested with them. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. As many of you know, I hated Farmington Correctional Center. Oh, it was cool when I first got there. I was glad to leave the walls for one thing, Missouri State Penitentiary. But it was also a change of scenery. When you get down there, there was a bunch of us coming from the walls down there. And first of all, COs did not like those of us coming from there. You know, we get off the bus and they talking bad to us. Oh, you think you're tough because you're from MSP, this and that, you know. Just talking crap to us. Later on, because of that, one of them, a, a, a CO, I don't know if he was one of the ones when we got off the bus, but he got assaulted because he was doing that. You guys ain't tough because you came. This is Farmington. We do things different here. That's the way they talk to you. Get with the program. This and that, you know. Which made us resist even more. The thing I hated the worst about it, Farmington Correctional Center is split into two. And you had A side and you had B side. Yard over here, yard over there. Each had their own chow hall. Well, B side was where all the SOs were. But sometimes they would start on B side. You know, they'd put them on B side until they had room for them and put them over there. Because they went through some class over there, you know, they call it MOSOP class. Missouri is the offender program is what it was. So I hated it, you know. I hated seeing those guys walking around on the yard doing whatever they wanted. I mean, just imagine seeing one whole side of a prison full of them. Man! And the ones A side usually got attacked before they got to the other side, you know. And sometimes they'd put the person who did it in the hole for a long time. It's like they protected them down there. One time I got accused of beating one up. I actually did. That's that's beside the point. I got away with it. The major and the lieutenant told me. They had me up and on. We know you did this, but he's not saying anything. He's saying you didn't do it. He said he got hit with a, snow, a snowball. At least he didn't uh, tell on me. But anyway, he tells me. Uh, well, they had another uh, white shirt in there. And they, uh, the uh, sergeant, he said, I am going to be working A-side uh, starting Monday. I want to let you know right now. I'm going to keep an eye on you and your cronies. Who uses the word cronies anymore? And uh, uh, so I was just looking at him. He goes, yeah, I know who your, who your cronies are. I said, man, you know, d do what you got to do, man. And But I went back and told people I hung around with us, and, man, they're going to be keeping an eye on us, you know. They did, man. They'd shake us down. The sergeant would shake us down or have a CO shake us, pat us down, you know, while we're on the yard. Sometimes all of us. Supposed to be you can't be in a group of uh, six, but they'd break us up. There's four of us. You guys need to break it up. And we'd argue with them, and they'd just get mad, you know. So I hated that place. It got to the point where I almost wish they'd send me back to MSP. They finally ended up sending me to Potosi because they caught me up on a number three. Number three is dangerous contraband. But they told me they was going to do that, too. When they st he's saying I was going to keep an eye on you and your cronies, he said, uh, I am going to get you one way or another because I know that you did this to this, this guy. One way or another, I, and I, I was set up. It was several months later when I was in the hole for that. He comes down there, comes right up to my cell, and says, side up, come to the door. So I walked over there, not smiling, not doing anything. He looks at me and says, I told you I would get you. And he goes, have fun, Potosi. And I, told, I said, man, you can stay here with all these chumos. You protect them anyway. You know, that, the place was infested with them, especially on the other side. At least they was on the other side, most of them were. They had all those COs that seemed like they was protecting them. You know, all the guards and COs and white shirts and stuff. Another thing I hated is a lot of people come in there. That was their first prison. I don't know how to put it in words. Many of them were, not all of them. Oh, and before I go farther, there were some good COs in Farmington. They were not all bad. You know, they were not all assholes. But it seemed like the majority were. But there were some good ones. Back to the, the people I'm talking about. I'm trying to figure out how to put it in words. They're the type that would cry over every little thing. Like if we was on a lockdown or something, you know, wasn't getting out. They got to let us out. They got to let us make a phone call. No, they ain't got to do a damn thing. Shut your mouth. I mean, always... And it's not just like once in a while. The type of people I'm talking about do it constant. They'll run up to uh, COs. Hey, CO. They'll tell on you, too. A lot of them would. They'll run up to, hey, man, why ain't we getting, why ain't Mel here yet? I remember a few times Mel was late. And this one kept running up to the CO. Usually they pass it out while we're locked down in the cell. But it was so late that they'd let, let us out. CO, uh, this guy kept running up to the CO and said, hey, 
Where's their mail at? I'm expecting a letter. I need my mail. I need my mail. He was getting tired of him. We all were. Finally, mail came in. He goes running up there. CO tells him, you're getting yours last. I don't blame the CO for doing that to him. Made him wait. Past, but there was a lot of them like that, you know. They're on the phone. They'll try to stay on the phone. That's before they started the 15-minute thing. You know, you pretty much got to get off before I beat your ass. You get on the phone in front of them. You're on there just a minute. Come on, man. I need to use the phone. Come on. I need to use... Oh, these guys, man. Worse than the chomos. At least the chomos kept quiet. Didn't say much to you, except hold up a Bible and come, you know, their glasses, pushing their glasses up on their nose, asking if you want to go to church. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little heated on that. So I did from 93 to 99 there. That's only six years, man. It seemed like I was there eternity. They sent me to Potosi, and then from there I went to Bowling Green and then uh, South Central Correctional Center, then to Algoa. Finally get sent back to Farmington, and they put me on B-side. But the thing about B-side is they got one housing unit that's for laundry that's off to the side. You gotta go down this road like thing all the way to it. So it was set off from the, everybody else, you know? I don't know if they still had the SOs on that side or not. I wasn't gonna find out either because I knew I'd get heated and wanna do something to them. So I was in the laundry there for five months before I got out of prison. And laundry did the laundry for the prison as well as for like seven hospitals, I think it was in the area. I told people, I, I did go out in the yard a couple of times, but it wasn't to hang around, man, you know. And when I got there the second time, they had inmate, and I'm calling him an inmate, because that's exactly what he was. Leading us all down to the housing unit we was going to, you know, he's one of their, their yes boys. You know, do what they say, you know. They say jump, he'll, he'll say how, ask how high. He, uh, I don't think he had one of those cases. He was just, you know, he just bowing to everything they said. They told him to drop to his knees. He probably would have, just being honest here. But anyway, that is why I hated Farmington so much. I mean, it was just that, and there's one other thing. Since I've gotten out, it seems to be happening more. There is a lot of uh, people all mysteriously being unalived. They're saying it's self-inflicted and all this. Not all of them are. I know that. I know how Farmington is, man, and especially with the staff, you know. Like I said, not all of them are bad, but there's a lot of bad ones down there, more than usual in most prisons. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.